What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is actually my plan with me for February in my bullet journal and I hope that you guys are really excited. I'm still trying to figure out just like how I want this video to be and so I would really appreciate down in the comments if you guys kind of told me what type of like plan with me style you like. I don't know if you like when I am setting this up and doing a voiceover on top of it where I'm talking about what I'm doing or if you like when I'm setting it up and it's just to music and then afterwards I actually like show you everything. Let me know which way you prefer. I really just am struggling with exactly the way that I prefer for these videos to be set up and obviously I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying them. So I'm doing something just a little bit differently. Normally I don't do like a whole intro post thing with this. I usually just go right into the actual planning but I just decided that instead you guys would see my face first. I would talk a little bit just about my supplies and then we'll head on over to me setting it up and then after I set it up I will describe everything, how it works, all that type of stuff. So this is the bullet journal that I actually currently have. This is actually from a friend that sent me this, Heather over at The Linen Bookie. She gifted me this for Christmas and I am so glad that she did because this bullet journal is literally just so beautiful. It's like a special edition. I did buy this pen holder actually at Books A Million. So it literally is just like an elastic band thing and you can fit, I can fit like two pens or pencils in here and it's a rose gold color so it matches really well. So I did buy these tabs. These are like the metallic tabs. I have them linked down below on Amazon, but you can also get them at Walmart. They're only a couple dollars and it comes with a big pack. So I definitely have them for a while. I tab my months on the side and then I tab any extra things up top. So that's like the bullet journal I use. It's actually the like Loistrum. Is that how you say it? Loistrum 1917. And I actually thought, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this journal just because it has a lot lot thinner pages than the one that I was using the last couple years, which was the Lamone bullet journal, but I really am liking this. I actually like how thin the pages are because I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. It's just a nicer feeling. Don't ask me why. So then some of the supplies that I use, my favorite like black pens um, are these Tombow mono drawing pens and I will have these linked down below because I got these off of Amazon. My friend Brandy told me about them and it comes in a three pack. So it's like zero one, zero three, and zero five. Who even knows if you can see that? Okay, we're having autofocus problems, but it's fine. Anyway, so these come in a three pack of the three different ones and I use all three. Like I use the zero five to do big titles on my Things. So like this is the 05 and then I use like the 01 to do a lot of the just like tinier things. A lot of times that's how I write the things is in the 01 just because it's a lot thinner. So I really, really like those pens. For my favorite type of markers, I actually use these mild liners, which am I saying it right this time? Yeah. My <laughs> So I use these mild liners. Let me see if I can get this to focus so you can see what it looks like. So these are the mild liners and they come in a bunch of different colors. My friend Brandy had sent me a pack a couple months ago. I picked out all of, well, not the blue, sorry. I picked out like these colors to use for my February spreads. And I just really like them a lot because you can see the color, but you can still see the writing. So, you know, that was the pink. And then spoilers, this is the like purplish type of colors. So I decided to switch colors. In January, I was doing a lot of blues and stuff or just random colors. And I decided I'm gonna do like kind of a monthly theme. So February, obviously, is going to be pinks and purples. So the only other things that I use are ruler, a pencil and an eraser because I always do my spreads in like a pencil first before I go over them. I usually like plan it out ahead of time and like draw everything and then I sit down and actually film me, you know, setting it actually up and then a lot of times more ideas come to mind. I really hope you guys are excited for this February one because I put in a whole 2020 stats page and I put a whole like most anticipated releases page in this one and I even changed my February like reading spread wrap up spread to make it just like fit more stats and just be way better. So I really hope you guys are excited for this setup. So let's go ahead and set up for February.
May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. You're the first thing in the morning and the last. Baby, you're my future and you are my past. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Ordering a cup of love, feel it rising up and above. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. So let's flip through my February spread. I almost have it all filled out. There's just a couple of things that I don't want you guys to know about just because of it being just surprises on my book channel. So I have my cover page right here, which I've just been doing my cover pages, just like really, really simple. I just like having, you know, just something simple. So it's literally just the word of the month and then i also have been putting tabs um, where my months are so i'll show you february and then i'll do a quick january flip through so you can see how i used january so for february i have my main calendar spread right here this is like for my life so i'll be writing my youtube videos down on here like when they're gonna go live i have a trip planned to visit my sister i have a live show planned on the 23rd i have a break from work this side i'm going to be putting my work schedule so I already know I have a break from work right here but the rest of the days I'll have to wait until my schedule comes this is Super Bowl Sunday and I want to remember that because I 
don't watch football, but my husband does. And so I was thinking of making maybe some like really cool treats on that day. And maybe I can do a video about that on my main channel. And then I have my February to do. So, so far I didn't really have anything off the top of my head that I needed to get done other than I'm starting a spring cleaning series on my main channel. And so I definitely want to start planning that out. Then I have, this is where my life gets busy. This is my book club that I have online on Facebook. And I always have a link down below if you want to check it out. And I have a video up here that tells you all about it if you want to go check that out. But I have some buddy reads on this side. So this is my buddy read side. So we have like daily pages. I have a whole month of reading schedule right here. I'm going to read the long walk over this part because I'm actually doing the discussion for that in my book club. And then this stuff is the event so far that are happening in February in the book club. So we have a spin the bottle TBR challenge. We have blind date with a book, Super Bowl event. We have like shipping dates for some things. We have d book discussions. Then I have just some other things that I have to do and that's where my to-do list comes in. So I have actually like some backlist things I have to do for the book club in order to keep it running. That's what happens when you're an admin. So then I have an admin call. I host one of these with all of my admins every single month. So I just started a little page so I could start writing down things I wanted to talk about. And then I just like scribble notes all over it. Then this is my YouTube ideas spread for my main channel and my book channel. So that way I can write down the like ideas I have for February, but then also just random ideas. I always flip through the pages and then I can like, you know, if I have ideas for a different month, I can just move them to a different month. Then this actually doesn't go in my February, you know, like spread. This is like a collection. I really wanted to keep track of my reading stats this year because I was so jealous of everyone else's like videos about this. And so I actually stole this setup from Gabby over at Gabby Reads. Um, I saw one of her older videos where she like showed her reading journal. And so this was like her, I think it was her 2018 spread that I copied this off of. And so we just have like the months right here which I'm gonna write the number of books that I read each month. Then we have kinds of books, ratings, age group, published in, genres, participated in, like read on, readathons and stuff. Then DNF, reread, arcs, new authors, and read before. So this is the main stuff I'm keeping track of. And I put a little tab up here so I can easily find it within my bullet journal. Then we have my, I gotta cover my TBR here. <laughs> but then we have a reading, February reading spread. I decided to change this like wrap up type of thing. So this time I'm going to actually make it easier for me to put it in my little stats page. So I have the title, the page number, the genre, the age it was like adult or YA or whatever, uh, the year it was published in, the format, so audiobook, physical book, the source, which is like where I got it from. So like the library, NetGalley, bought, that type of thing, whether the author was new to me or not, and then the actual star rating. So this, I wanna do every single month, and then hopefully it's easy for me to put it in my actual like yearly stats page there. And then I have my whole TBR written here. I decided I definitely need to write out my TBR, even if I don't stick to it, I just need to always like see it because I have so many buddy reads and live shows and you know backless neck galley titles that I need to get to so yeah that's why that's there then this is another spread I'm gonna put a tab on the top I just haven't yet and this is anticipated releases I actually got this idea from my friend Heather over at the Linden bookie but she said she got the idea from books and Lala so I actually haven't seen the video I guess where books and Lala has this spread but this I guess originally came from books and Lala. I actually have the whole year of 2020 here and then I put the first three months of 2021 and I'm just gonna go I didn't have time to do it now but I'm gonna go through my most anticipated releases I'm just gonna write them down in which month they're published in and so especially when we get you know to the end of the year I knew I needed a couple months into 2021 just because I, there's always like books coming out so far in the future so I also want to kind of put this on here and then maybe do like a little dot or something if I've already sent an email to a publisher asking for that book, just so that I know. And so, yeah, that was that spread. And so that's all I have for February. Then I'll actually be starting my like daily 
to-do lists on these extra pages. So I'll show you that in January. Let's go back to January. Okay, so let's flip through January really quick. This was my like main calendar spread and I really liked this. I was writing like what I worked, but that's why for February I moved this over and I'm gonna put what I worked all the way over here. And then I put some of the videos that went live. Then I had my January to do and a goals spread. I will be doing February goals. I just haven't thought of them yet. Then as you can see, <laughs> this is my Weeby book and spread. So for my book club, I had my buddy reads over here, but again, I moved the you know calendar for February now over. So that way it's easier for me to see because it was a little hard for me to like go all the way over here and see which day. This was my Weeby book and to do and the admin call, which obviously you see I have way too many notes, which is why I made a two, like two separate pages for February. Then I had my no spend rules, which is actually going great. I actually have been doing really well with that. Then I had YouTube ideas and this was my two page January reading spread, which I haven't even like really filled it out yet. Um, but I just felt like two pages was too much. So that's why in February I switched it to one page. And then I have spoiler vlog books to read. So this was um, people wanted to like actually see these for a spoiler vlog. And then I just check mark if I did that or not. <laughs> and then this was the start of my daily spreads. So this is how I do my daily spreads. I just write the day at the top, I highlight it, and then I just write all the things that I have to do. And then I just cross them out if I got them done. I put a line through it if it's something that's not relevant anymore. And so yeah, this is just how I do everything. So like this is today. And so for instance, I filmed my plan with me. That's actually what I'm doing now, or I'm almost done. So I'm gonna cross that out. That's done. I still need to edit it. I still need to like do this other stuff, <laughs> obviously. And so, oh, I didn't get to highlight, but normally, you no, know, I put the day and then I highlight it. Now, normally I don't start another day until I get to that day, just so that way I have enough room to like write things that I need to get done. But because of these are my two days off and I'm doing the social detox, I, de I had to like kind of brainstorm like what I wanted to get done for Wednesday because this is like my like super work at home day. And then this is more of a relaxation day. So I just kind of wanted to break those up and just, you know, figure out what I was doing. But normally, I only do one day at a time, um, especially because if I'm working, sometimes I don't do anything in that day. It's just going to work, coming home, and like maybe like reading or something or watching something on TV. So that was all of February. I left a couple pages just because it still is only the 22nd of February when I'm filming this. So I still have to write like other days and stuff on these days. Um, and so then that was the start of my February spread. Okay, you guys, that was it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know down in the comments comments, what you love about these planning videos, what you would like to see more of. You know, I really like doing these, but I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying them too. So give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye everyone. Hey, I heard you got a new best friend. Yeah, it's a bit, I won't pretend that.